Good evening. Crash bang clang I hear. Um, sorry about that. Just forgot to take down my microphone. Let's put on the camera as well. Cha 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 indeed. And Phasian has redeemed a personal sound effect. Well, uh, keyboard. Very, very nice sound. Uh, if you want a personal sound effect, uh, Phasian, which I assume you do since you did the redemption, uh, I need to know what sound effect you want. Uh, you can either send me uh, an MP3 or a .org file or a WAV file, or you can send me uh, a link to a YouTube video that has the sound effect uh, in it, and I will uh, extract it myself. Um, keep it within the rules, of course, and then also tell me whether you want me to make it personal personal so that only you can use it or if you want it to be open for anyone to use note that i cannot make it exclusive to more than one it's either you or everyone uh, because that's how the book works so not my fault yes i probably will not be streaming for six hours now i am uh slightly exhausted after the uh the drag box that was fun yeah we need to add that Wally. uh i also want to add uh, more ada um game sound unusually low oh yes it is because i turned it down in air trumpet the last time because i was going to a stream that up there we go you don't really need to do the redemption because I already wanted that. So okay, you can you can select a second one then because the oof one I would like to have. It it fits with my stuff as well. Um. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. We could do the uh, the other one as well, the gavel. I love that one. You'll hear that more than once when I'm around in your streams. Trust you, me. I absolutely love that one. So, since the last time, I've done a couple of things that I did off camera uh, because I didn't really want to uh, bother with that on camera. Um, the first thing is straight ahead. That would be the, um, as you can see down there to the right, the entirety of the old fuel generator plant is gone. I uh, deconstructed it all. I figured that that wasn't really that interesting to watch on camera anyways. So that's where the fuel generator power plant will work. And I think the plan today is to potentially extend it this way, depending on the height of that oil extractor. Uh, I think I can make it work. Uh, the other thing that I did off camera... I added a couple of those uh, cannon things because... Uh, but I see some people like uh, BL Andrews, uh, he has um, like 40 or something of them. And I kid you not, he was moving from there to there, the game just froze. The, the, the screen of the game just froze, and you could see the avatar, and he was there. And I'm not going to do that ever, um, because that would disturb me. I mean, it's it's nice to be able to move from across half the map in snap of your fingers, but there's also the fact that it's unpleasant, and also the sound. It gets a little bit uh, intense. I have the solution very likely here, but thank you. Now that's what I'm doing, by the way. I am re-inputting the water from those 10 down to 7 of the sloppy aluminium refineries. And I only uh, put water from the water extractors into the first three. But now I can explain the problem. 
What, what happens with the wastewater? Why does it happen? And I'm pretty sure that it works now because while I was deconstructing that stuff over there, I just, that was one of the reasons I did this off, off uh, camera, is I wanted to monitor what I've done here. As you can see, I have 10 refineries here. And each of these 10 refineries work in pairs. And each of these 10 refineries work in pairs in such a way that the aluminium scrap is going into 10 distinct segments of smelters in this line of 50, five on each side. And then those are outputted on each side into a separate belt each. And if you look at how this works, you can see that I have aluminium ingots coming out here on this side, they're going to the Alclad production. Uh, sorry, these are actually going uh, with a splitter to some of the Alclad production and to some of the uh, of the um, case production or casing. The other one is coming down here. Uh, where is it? The other one is coming uh, up there. And it's going into this splitter, which then sends it down one level. And that means that... Well, you can see what it means. They do not move equally. And the reason they do not move equally is because they don't... There's something wrong as well. This one isn't working. Uh, why aren't you working? Because I haven't set you up. Each of these, uh, the 20 assemblers making alclad sheets, uh, make 600 alclad sheets per minute. Whereas these 10 constructors, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they make 600 aluminium casing per minute. But these require 900 aluminium ingots, whereas these require 600 aluminium ingots. So what happens is that the scrap comes into different levels, and then some of the smelters backlog. And when that happens, Some of the refineries up there making scrap stops working, while others of them continue to work. So I had two groups working where the three other groups were not working. So I had four refineries making water, while six of them were not making water. And since the water coming from up there is supposed to cover the entirety of the refineries making the sloppy alumina from seven it's seven refineries making sloppy alumina that caused problems so now you can see this one is empty 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 this one actually uh yeah there it started working again so i'll get back to this they occasionally do not get enough alumina solution now so they will shut down but that's okay i don't mind that because it means they work. This one is empty, this one is empty, and this one is empty. Um, so these three refineries are receiving water from extractors down there, and the other ones receive water from this loop, this circle that goes behind these seven. And your solution is the same than that I came up with, uh, and it was the best solution I had addicted to capping, so no need to apologize. It's It was the solution that made sense to me as well. For what? 40 something hours, if I add up the 30 hours in the previous base? Now, I'm at the point now where I don't know if the solution that I found here is the actual solution. If it isn't, I'm going to make concrete. <laughs> I'm going to set up refineries, get in limestone, and make concrete using the wet concrete recipe, where I will take the wastewater and use that 1050 water for making wet concrete, put the concrete onto the train station, and sink the overflow, because I've had it. 
However, when I was considering that, Wally mentioned to me, are you sinking the Alclad casings and the aluminium... Uh, no, the uh, Alclad uh, aluminium sheets and the Alclad... Uh, or the aluminium casings? And I, I said no, I wasn't. And it that would not... Easy being green. No, but of course. That would not make sense either, since they're not producing the same amount. One of them is producing 900, and the other one is producing 600. Uh, oh, uh, one of them is using, I mean, 900, and the other one is using 600. So I needed some way to balance it. Thus, I have five sinks over there. And I have five smart splitters here. So to ensure that these belts are always, like, these ten refineries are always working. I am splitting the overflow of all these five belts Not out. Not all who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Saudi Swat, and welcome to the channel. I'm splitting overflow of aluminium scrap to five sinks. I have to use five because each of these belts uh, will run up to 600. That would actually be an amusing sound effect, uh, Wooly. I agree. As you can see, the lowest one, or the, uh, the farthest away one, isn't getting anything, which... The what you can see here in terms of what's coming of scrap proves the imbalance. The lowest one isn't getting scrap, the other ones are. Which means that the refineries farthest away, which is also the smelters farthest away, are the only ones working currently now. Now, the other ones, the topmost, standing still. Still. This one, I think I saw some slight movement on it. No, still, still. It's only this one. And it's getting occasionally. So the other option that I could have done here was to make a um, 5 to 5 splitter. Um, that is actually possible. Let me find that. Let's see. Sorry about it. It's just popping up. Firefox updated today and it looks weird compared to what I'm used to. Um, it's there. And workbench balancer. Um, now it doesn't have a, a 5 to 5, but I think I have some here. Hello, welcome back, Best Asparagus. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is one of these pages that I've looked at. Um, basically, what I would have to do is, is I would need to make a 5 to 5 balancer. Like in, uh, like in Factoria, I would need a balancer that would do 5 to 5, so that all of the scrap were equally distributed at all times to the smelting array. But it isn't really viable in Satisfactory in that sense. At least not I, my brain is not able to make that viable because the belts of the smelters will have to be five different belts or at least three point something so it would have to be four because i'm producing 600 scrap per group of refineries and i have 10 10 refineries in with five groups so even if I did use that method with splitting, I would still have to sink. But my end result here you have some rather complicated ones from the from the, um, the wiki. They have some very funky uh, examples of balancers uh, here. Uh, here's a four to four. It's um, so if I wanted to have a five to five, I would have. I would have to find some way to make this thing work. And this thing requires a lot of belts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 splitters and 12 mergers. And you can see the belts are crossing in all kinds of weird directions here. Uh, so balancing belts in Satisfactory is uh, not less complex than balancing belt in uh, Factorio. But... I think I would prefer balancing belts in Factorio because balancing belts in Satisfactory with the 3D effect and splitters and mergers on various levels would make my head slightly cave in, I must confess. So 
I believe that through using these um, sinks, we'll go and check in on the aluminium later, but I, I'm pretty confident that this works. You can see they are all happily plodding out the uh, the scrap. I think there's a mod for uh, for uh, belt balancers, uh, actually. I think there's several. Now, I don't know how many of you were here the other day when I mentioned the um, the poster in the bathroom of the um, pub. Because I discovered something quite funny the other day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I don't know, Gloss. I, since I wouldn't use it, I'm not interested in it since it would add something to the game, which means that it would break if the mod breaks. So I haven't looked at it. Anyhow, the uh, the poster in the uh, hub. Um, let me see if I can uh, find that. It's not. This is the instruction for how to make Ada. Uh, let's see if I Google. That is factory hub poster. Quite tiny. There we go. Original file. So, this is the poster in the hub. You have uh, Korolev. You have now expanding to Fortuna 3. You have this uh, thing here and uh, all of this. And I was speculating upon whether or not this could be a DLC or something. It isn't. Does this seem familiar? I mean, um, Korolev, Korolev, drop onto the surface of Fortuna 3. Now expanding to Fortuna 3. Thank you, Fazian. It's, um, it's a reference to the game The Cycle. It's not from Coffee Stain. It's um, it's a PVE PP game, competitive quest shooter, um, which clearly has some connotations. I mean, this could as well be um, somewhere in Satisfactory. Looking at the graphics, uh, let me. I don't know how loud that will be. I'm glad that I turned that down, because that was loud in my ears. That is really loud. Yeah, it's at minus 25.8 decibel, Facian. Exactly. This is very Satisfactory-ish. This could just as well be from Satisfactory if I had just glanced at it and I would have thought that it was Satisfactory. I think he even killed a spitter there. I don't know if it's uh, Unreal Engine or whatever it is, but... Um, that is Fortnite. That sounds very... Um... The thing, though, is it isn't a Battle Royale game. You can actually play the game without ever killing any other players, because the goal of the game apparently is to... Um, I'm just going to see if it has an Unreal 4 Engine uh, logo here. doesn't. Interesting. Uh, because that really looked like Unreal uh, Engine 4. It is on Epic, though, so... 
He doesn't have any reference to uh, to Unreal Engine. Uh, the cycle game engine. Unreal Engine 4. Yeah, <laughs> that explains that. I I I have the browser at minus twenty five point eight decibel in OBS. If I had had it at the default value of zero, I would have blown your ears off because OBS would have gone straight up into the red and stayed there. That was so loud in my headset. Thankfully, I don't I don't mind the loudness. Uh, doesn't cause me any pain, but I know that there are a couple of viewers in the audience who are not very fond of those loud noises, so... Anyhow, I just wanted to share that part with you, that it is actually a different game, and it's it's kind of like they have a collabor collaboration... Um, um, collaboration promotion for one another, and it's kind of like in Coffee Stain's... Uh, style to have that uh, Korolev slaves uh, Korolev sucks thing poster. I, I found that slightly amusing. Let me just clean up my tabs here because I've looked at a lot of things in regards to Satisfactory. Um, there's also one thing that I would like some help from you guys with. And that is the Ada thing. Because no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Uh, it's US Wavenet 3. And. Can I find one of those? Not close. Like, this, it's very easy to hear that this is Ada. Need to turn that back up. I am not a robot. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. Like that's the first thing she says to you after you landed up on the planet. Yeah, it, it was because I had to click I'm not a robot. <laughs> so that's why you didn't hear anything. I hadn't clicked the actual play button. So I'd, I'd like to have a couple of... Uh, since I play so much Satisfactory and this is such a, an easy thing to uh, to do in Audacity, I would like to have some, um, some sound effects that kind of fits the theme of the channel. Uh, having Ada, t Ada say things. Because if I... I can do a quick demonstration because it was is really simple. Uh, Audacity that killed my headset sounds. No, I can't do a quick demonstration actually because I can. Can I? I can. Which source is this? I have uh, fifteen hundred bauxite input, by the way. Let me just figure out what source the browser is. Hold on. Cable output VB audio virtual cable. Uh, okay, so it's set to the right thing, so it shouldn't record any. Yep, yeah, perfect. It does not record anything. Let me just give you a quick example there. Uh, you'll hear Ada one more time. Go oh, away. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. There we go, and then I do... let's see here, I do this... Yeah, I need to do that first, so... this. I can show you uh, as soon as I'm done uh, showing this. These values are correct, so okay. And then effect delay. Yep. So this should sound pretty much like Ada in game. I am Ada. I am yeah, Ada, you. also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. I'd say that's pretty close. 
maybe it is exactly the settings that uh, that um, Coffee Stain did. Maybe they are the ones who uh, gave these settings to um, to the uh, guys over there, the uh, article that I found. So yeah, what I was going to say there is, if you guys have any ideas about uh, what I could um, have as um, not too long, but some funky sound effects that would uh, be cool to hear Ada say, then uh, by all means, please uh, chuck me some uh, suggestions. I will uh, consider them closely. So I'm using two pure nodes and one normal node. Uh, that's a good uh, good idea, Richard Decker. Thank you. Yes, I'm using two pure nodes on 250% uh, because I don't have access to the Mark III uh, miners yet, even though I can buy turbo motors from the, uh, from the hub for some bizarre reason. But I think that's a bug. Uh, I think I was supposed to be able to buy the uh, radio control units, but apparently uh, turbo motors was unlocked instead. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so this one is a pure node. Um, then I have a normal node coming on this belt here, because this one goes to the pure node over there. And there's a normal node all the way over there as well. Uh, so this is just Mark IV, since uh, a normal at 250% is 300. Yes. Um, and I just use a splitter here to split that into two, so that it's 750 on each belt, on each Mark V belt. I or I intended to do the 240 per minute, but then I discovered that with my setup, with the, um, with the uh, wastewater, I would have to, uh, to use um, a full setup from the get-go, which is 10 of each refinery where the 10 sloppy aluminum refineries are running at uh, 75%. Yes, I too. I'm going to need more. <laughs> this isn't enough. I'm making 600 Alclad sheets and I'm making 600 casings and I know that I need more than 600 casings and I know that I'm going to need a lot of Alclads because I'm going to use the um, the uh, original um, original um, the alternate recipe for the original battery. Uh, no, Addicted. Uh, I didn't have time to do it today because of the other stream. Uh, I really wanted to, to do that other stream just to test so that I have had that off. I have some... There are there are reasons why I wanted to test, but I'll get that and the other one uh, um, looked at tomorrow. Uh, warning, if you have a fear of heights, look away, please. And it's safe to look again. Uh, sure, Faison, I'll take a quick look. Uh, where's Discord? There we are. Um, I can't play it, Faison. If I play it, everyone will hear it. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> and by the name of it, I want to hear it first. <laughs> Wait, I can play it if I do that. Hold on. Yes, I can play it. Just let me check. Yep. Uh, go away. And... I approve. I definitely approve. It's gonna fit right in with this one. I always wanted to start my own religion. So I did. I can show you guys. I just, I'm not sure how loud it is. Let me put it there. Thou shalt love the tentacle. Oh, you can hear it, I think. Yep. Uh, you probably heard it the first time because I don't think I've set uh, Winamp to uh, to the right one. 
Because I can see that. Yeah, I haven't. So you heard it the first time. Then again, I, I do trust you. They broke me very early on in the other, uh, in the uh, previous stream, Jilara. Uh, don't worry about that. Were you there for a time? I'm getting old, so... Yeah, I'm I, I will use uh, Audacity to... Um, to uh, make sure that it fits with uh, the volume of the other ones that I'm using. Normalizing the volume. Um, yeah. Let me see. I need to go stock up on uh, Stash. The sooner the better, huh? Yeah. You'd think so. Stuff to do. Yeah, that's always important to uh, to take care of. I had a surprising and many viewers in that stream. Of course, it did help that Doof came in with a raid as well. That is from uh, Futurama, isn't it? I haven't watched all of it. I've watched quite a bit of Futurama. I like that show. It's uh, It appeals more to my sense of humor than, uh, say, for instance, The Simpsons or... Uh, then again, I did like The Simpsons in... Uh, in um, back in the days when it was originally launched. It's just that, what is the season it is on now? 28, 30 something? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Perfect. We need some iron plates. Thank you for the lurk. We need some... Rotors? Do we need rotors for this? No, we need a lot of motors. I think it's something like 27 or 28 seasons as well. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. We do need rotors for the... Um for the um, extractors. Yeah. I'm not objecting to them uh, making more seasons. Though. I guess they're having fun. Just that I've kind of lost interest a long time ago. I suspect I'm not the only one. Take a couple of stacks of these. I'm, I'm going to have to go back to pick up more motors. Yeah, exactly. And we also need to get some... Wait. 32 seasons. Wow. Uh, we need to do the mam. If I build it not inside of myself, that helps. At some point, I also want to move the uh, proper sheet production uh, somewhere a little bit less inconvenient. I mean, I could belt it up, but I just can't be bothered. Pro parking. Not so pro jumping out of the car. That should be enough. Uh, what else do I need? I mean, I can always just do this and... This... Need some computers as some Borg cubes, some quick wire. I think we have enough space for that. I'm really curious how the uh, update to the water is going to be when uh, running water actually carries you with it. 
does that also mean that cars will be uh, pulled with the water? Wow, I was nine years old at nine years old at the time. Almost ten. I hate driving in tight spaces like this. I don't know why I did this, but uh, should I bring the car with me out there? If I should. Someone mentioned something about this is all temporary for now. Was that you, Jalara? Yeah, uh, the uh, aluminium refinery is actually not temporary. That that's uh, that's um, the only thing that's temporary about that is that I haven't done the uh, architectural decorations of it. Otherwise, it's actually the uh, the finished product. In terms of that's how that's how I intended to be. I might do separate floors for the uh, casings and the um, sheets, but other than that, uh, I very much intended to be like uh, where it is, as it is, but maybe with some minor modifications. I need 150. How did that jump? Okay. Apparently, it wasn't right. Mm, yeah, that, that, that would explain things. We need some quick wire as well. Until I, I mean, this is very temporary in terms of my uh, setup here. I think I'll have 2,000 of it so that I can also build uh, Mark II power poles if I need those. And I probably, now that I think about it, I should go back and pick up one more stack of computers just in case I need more than 150 exactly. As long as you're enjoying it. Ugh. <laughs> yep. I can see how that would be um, weird. <laughs> talking to past Caledon, when present Caledon has no idea what you're talking about. The other things we need would be motors. Uh, I should stack a couple more of those in the car. Present Caledon is always confused, Fazian. That's nothing new. <laughs> well, you can, Taolus. You can comment in the uh, in the comment section, and I uh, I might even respond, although in text form. Also, welcome. I wonder if I confused people today when they were seeing that I was online and playing Jackbox party games. Considering the uh, very high consistency in Satisfactory, I'm, I'm sure I surprised more than a few people with that. 
There should be more room here. Yeah, I can put more motors in here. So if I put... Um, Pokemon Go! Great hour. It's been a while since I've played that. I should actually start playing that again this summer. Uh, not so much because I'm fond of playing Pokemon Go, but it's an excellent excuse to go for a walk. Which uh, my leg would not object to. I could also use some cable if I do that. Are you enjoying the game, Addicted? I asked the dev for a key, but they didn't respond. But I will probably buy it anyways if they do. Looks like an enjoyable game. Yeah, I think we're more or less set now. I guess I can't see anything here. Um, yeah. If there is something, then we'll just have to go back. I'll bring the car, but we can take the hypertube back anyway, so that's that's fine. You know what? I think I am going. This side? Yeah, it is. There we go. Having that leg there all the time felt weird. Yeah, Pokemon Go should be uh, mostly safe. Even in uh, in regions that are uh, affected by COVID, I would think. At least as long as you keep your distance to, to the other players, since it um, takes a bit of effort for the virus to actually uh, infect people in open air. But I would at least keep two meters distance, probably more. But it's a great way to uh, to socialize and also get fresh air and exercise and all the things, so... Personal... Uh, yeah... I, I know exactly what you mean there, Jalara. Um, I've had the same things with my leg. Um, and it's, uh, it's painful afterwards, that's for sure. But it does help in the long run. Done. Good timing there. For the time being, I'm keeping the plastic and the rubber production here, but I plan on moving that to the north. Or to a different f location, at least, where I use oil nodes from the north instead. Big question is this oil extractor thing here, does that clash? It does. I'm pretty sure it does clash. The uh, power indicator is going to um, stick out, I think. you know it 
will actually work. That's not bad. I shall keep my fingers crossed for you, Addicted. Yeah, this works, actually. No indication light sticking up through the foundation here. Nope, perfect. to do some um, creative thinking on the um, the oil and the water pipelines but we'll get around to that in due time now this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so I want to go out I'll go out sixteen but I think the actual number is 15. Uh, that is not going to, to work, sadly. This one should be a regular ramp. For now, it should be a quarter pipe because I'm going to glass in this, but... For now, it will be a regular ramp. Uh, foundation. Not glass foundation. I want the uh, water pipe. Again, we want the quarter pipe. Thank you. I'm quite happy with this. Uh... Wait, this is this is not right. I'm quite happy with this uh, design myself. I think it's one of my uh, most interesting designs in the game so far. Uh, not there, there. Now it's a matter of three. I am so happy that I can use smart for this. This would have taken quite some time without smart. I need one more. Two seconds, please. Okay, so now we have that layout. And I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And so forth. 
Okay, so it's supposed to be on the um, very edge of the seam between there. Going to go have, I'm going to have to go pick up more rubber, but uh, that's fine. That looks to be right to me. It's on the seam, so we should have two of them. And then we need um oh, sorry, an organization. Do we buffer here? And another fuel generator. These fluid buffers are temporary. Just need them to align things up. So they can go away again. Because at this uh, lowest level, the fluid buffers are not needed. That's not right. There we go. And we need some single windows. I don't remember what way did I put these. I'd have to remove a foundation. Okay, so I put them that way. Okay, good. I want 14 of these. Unless my memory is wrong. Which it is, because we want 15 of them, actually. Then it's the next level. Yep. I'm pretty sure that is correct, that the legs should... No, it isn't. It is not correct. What's going on with this one? Why is the legs sticking out? They are not on this one. Why? What? What's going on here? They're not doing it in that one. It's just doing it on that one. Huh? That's really strange. Maybe I put down the glass foundations first. I'm going to clean up the... Uh Power pole afterwards. Yeah, I must have done. Otherwise, it would have been sticking out over there as well. Right, yeah, now I remember what's going on with these power poles. I need to fix that. Although I don't need the wall here anymore. Or actually, I do. If I want this to look uniform, then I actually do need the walls. So let's move this power pole. That might be a stupid thing, but... Uh, goes there. And then to there. Is that the right spot? I, I think it is. Yep, it is. I just have to do this on each of the levels. Ah, perfect. I 
don't strictly need power poles on each side, but um, I think I want to have power poles on each side. Did you remember to fill up all of the uh, fluid buffers first, including the heavy oil residue ones? Because these two fluid buffers here, they have to be full. If they are not full, you might run into problems. I think that's about it here. Now I want to add the wall panels here as well. Uh, I have to do that like that because I'm going to use something else. Uh, but I want this to look uniform. I don't know what I'm going to do here as of yet. Uh, I'll figure that out when we get around to it, but for now, let's just build that one. And I don't know what to do about those two. Ah, the copy paste is so, 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 so useful. There we go. Now we need fluid buffer. Another fluid generator. Uh, fuel and generator, not fluid generator. Although a fluid generator would have been fun. Missing rubber. I've used quite a bit of resources for that. I'm almost out of concrete, too. Uh, no, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click sort. Uh, and I need to go pick up some more heavy modular frames. stack of computers. Good thing that I took that additional stack of them. Not that these numbers are correct, because they update wrong due to the fact that I am building with smart. And the game does not take that into account when it comes to the um, uh, the task list. Yeah, I did build this one too far out. I suspected I did. Uh, let's remedy that right away, so that I don't have to deal with that later on. I think this might turn into a problem in terms of power. Indeed it will. Really? Uh, game. Uh, I need to put on these then. Otherwise, I can't jump up. Here 
There we go. And now I can remove the glass foundation on the outmost one. So I was right when I remembered 14 and not 15. Guess I'm not that old after all. Good thing my husband has it he has his headset on, otherwise there would be comments. Oh, he's listening anyways. <laughs> Usually he doesn't listen to the stream. You're cheating. No, 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 I'm not going to power up the fuel generator. Usually you're watching things like QI or something like that, not me. Yeah, that is a good idea, actually. That's something that I need to do out here. I need to add power storages out here because the ones that I built in the base, um, they are not really meant to be where they are. Uh, so I really need to redo that part. Do I really speak that loudly? Oh, right. What are you playing? Total War Warhammer 2? That, that, that was clunky. Total War Warhammer 2. Not War War Warhammer 2. I am so hyped about Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, that's definitely going to be a game that I'm going to stream. I hope you guys will enjoy that because I, I'm going to play that game to bits and pieces. Thankfully, I should be more than done with uh, this factory in Satisfactory before that time uh, occurs, because uh, I don't think the release is going to be scheduled until probably late, late autumn, maybe early winter. They haven't said anything about a release date to uh, to the um, create the people in the creator program either. And if they had, then of course I would very likely be under an NDA, so I would not be able to say anything. I have a very strong suspicion that given the popularity of the um, Total War Warhammer series, and the fact that Games Workshop never made any lore for Cathay, Cathay was always uh, just uh, an afterthought in the lore of Warhammer Fantasy. They're, there, there, there's nothing in the official um, uh, books and everything. Cathay is just a, a side note, uh, faraway lands, which refers to, to um, like an, an Asian, Chinese, Japanese culture. But there was never made any models. There was never made any any lore in in regards to that, and uh, a creative assembly actually uh, managed to talk Games Workshop into making lore for Cathay just for Total War Warhammer 3. Um, which means that um, considering how... Um, <laughs> let, let's just use the word corporate. Um, how corporate Games Workshop is as a company. Uh, the Total War franchise of the Warhammer games has been very lucrative for Games Workshop as well, which means that the um, the Total War games was all there was all, they were always meant to be a trilogy. Uh, when they made Total War Warhammer originally, uh, it was intended to be the first of three games. That was the entire plan uh, that they had, uh, and the success was way beyond their wildest dreams. Uh, according to the interviews that were made with the uh, the um, creative director of the game. And 
it would be very, very strange to me if they do not follow up Total War Warhammer with Total War Warhammer 40k. I would be very, very surprised if the 40k version is not going to be the next in the series. Because I think both Games Workshop and Creative Assembly are very, very, very interested in uh, reaping the benefits of that. And there are probably more 40k fans out there than there are fantasy fans. So a 40k game in the same genre would probably be even more popular than the fantasy version. So I would almost be willing to make a bet on the fact that 40k will be the next Warhammer Total War game in in that series when they're done with Warhammer 3. They might, for all we know, already be working on it. It's not like Creative Assembly is a small company. And have no doubt, if they make a Total War Warhammer 40k, I will be playing it. Also, to bits and pieces. Although I do wonder how they would implement that with the planets and stuff. The warp and the planets. But Creative Assembly isn't exactly... Um... I mean, they're, they're, a, they're a decent team of developers. So I would be surprised if they don't uh, manage to make a good adaptation there. Welcome back, Wally. Yeah, I must must confess personally that I am quite happy with what this looks like. That would not surprise me in the slightest either. Uh, I mean, Creative Assembly have made some interesting decisions over the years. Um, Total War Attila comes to mind. Uh, Rome 2 wasn't really that popular in terms of reception. Um, Troy, while being okay, wasn't the best received game, although it was better received than uh, Britannia, which I'm a bit sad about because I really like that era, that history era. However, uh, if I'm going to play Britannia in a series or anything, I would use um, a mod where I could play as... Um... Oh, hold on. What is that guy called? Uthred. I don't remember his last name in the series, but I am a huge fan of the series The Last Kingdom, which is... it is such a good series. And while parts of it is fantasy, like Uthred, uh, Uthred did exist as far as we know, but... I mean, it's 1200-ish uh, years ago. Uh, but they have added the king um, Alfred, I believe it was Alfred of Wessex, of Wessex, and uh, and many of the characters are historically accurate. But I would really like to play the game as Uthred because in the series uh, he's very well portrayed and also quite the eye candy for those who like to uh, who like that aspect. But, uh, He's uh, quite good looking, that actor. I don't remember his name in the... Off the top of my head. 
I don't know if your lag is really that bad, Wally. Um, try restarting your phone, perhaps? But yeah, well, as I was going to say, I'd, I would not be surprised if, uh, if they make a better... Well... It would be a totally different game than Dawn of War. I mean, I loved Dawn. I loved Dawn of War. Um, I didn't play Dawn of War two as much as I played Dawn of War one. Dawn of War two is also a good game. It's not that, but one was better. Pong. Uh, but. Dawn of War would be a, a quick, uh, high action, uh, you're done within at most an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how much you turtle. Whereas a, a, a Total War game would be a couple of days, if done right, where you would have lots and lots of battles if you wanted to. The reason why I love the Warhammer game so much in Total War series is that those are the games that actually got me into doing the battles manually and not just making auto-resolve armies because it's so much fun to uh I really love um it's quite ironic my favorite faction in Total War Warhammer is the Skaven which at the launch I hated the Skaven because the food mechanic was absolutely confusing to me But there's nothing like playing a Skaven weapons team's army with a couple of plague priests just summoning Skaven slaves to keep the uh, enemy army occupied while the rattling guns and the warplock gazelles and the uh, plague claw catapults are just bombing them with uh, all kinds of things. I mean, it's a doomstack army, but it's not a doomstack army that can beat anything. And that also is fun because you have to you have to think. You can't just. It's not one of those doomstack armies where you can just uh, set and forget. Uh, there are a couple of those, but it's it, uh, the uh, the rattling gun army is definitely not one of those. Um, or the weapon teams army. Um, but there's also Ikit Claw. I really love Ikit Claw. Uh, some of the things he says is just absolutely hilariously fun. Mass murder first. Talk later. Yep. Which is kind of weird that I like. But uh, I also love playing as the dwarves in uh, in uh, Total War because their artillery is uh, just amazing. Uh, there's, not, there's, there's a few things, um, or there are a few things that are as fun as uh, an army of iron drakes, flame cannons, uh, organ guns, a couple of great cannons to tear down some walls very quickly and some uh, iron breakers at the front uh, together with a couple of runesmiths to uh, up those uh, those uh, ward saves and stuff. But there are actually few factions that I don't like in, uh, in uh, Total War Hammer. I've played all of them. I've got all of the achievements. Uh, not all of them uh, totally legit, because I did use mods uh, for the other legendary campaign victories, except for the first one. I did the first one legitimately, but the other ones I used um, a mod that reduced the AI's uh, advantages down to the same as they would receive on uh, very hard. Um... So I've played all of the factions, but I would say that my least favorite faction? That's difficult. I think the greenskins, even though they are hilarious, uh, I don't think the greenskins is very fun, unless you play with some mods that gives them some extra units in their roster. Um, I'm not that fond of the greenskins. The lizardmen... 
Lizardmen... Depending on who you play, Lizardmen can be fun. Uh, but I find them to be a bit tedious. Um, or rather, monotonous. Because you always end up with the same army, which is a uh, Stegadon Doomstack. Um, it's really only the viable good army. You... You don't want to use melee units, and the Lizardmen have a lot of melee units. Um, of course, Norska uh, is extremely boring because there's really only one thing. There's really only one army that's viable with them. That's the um, the War Mammoths, and uh, and of course the same applies to Chaos, where you would build Dragon Ogre Shagoths. If you build anything else, uh, you're playing suboptimally. Um, the, the thing with Skaven and Dwarves is that they give you many options. Uh, you're not locked to uh, to one specific army. The same with Empire. Uh, you're not locked to one specific army with the Empire. High Elves... Well, I love playing as the High Elves. Uh, Particularly as Imric of Kalador, uh, imagine why. Kalador uh, Dragon Tamer is, after all, where I have my nickname from. Um, the the thing with the High Elves is that you very often end up with a Sisters of Avalon stack, um, which is fun, but it can get a bit, a little bit monotonous. So in that. In that case, the the Dark Elves might actually be a little bit more fun. But if you play as Imric, uh, you you can vary your Doom stacks a little bit since he gets those <laughs> quite interesting and overpowered overpowered dragons. Are there any other of the factions that I have opinions on? I wonder. Men, I've mentioned those. Uh, Skaven, obviously. Uh, the new Skaven Lord that they added, the... Um, I don't remember his name now. The guy that has the... Um, mutagen. That, that, that one adds for... Or makes for some very interesting uh, decisions uh, with the mutagen. But to, to make a proper mutagen army... Uh, you really have to uh, do save scumming. Uh, so that can also be a bit tedious. Waiting for loading times. Thank you, Virgilius. I like using glass. It makes for a nice effect, I think. This one I need aluminium casings for. I need to go pick up aluminium. Uh, no, Wally, that's Glass Deviant. I like to watch Tentoplus through Glass. Not sure what I just said there, but, um... Yeah. Yes, uh, it's five times six steps. Uh, so four blenders, five refineries, 30 fuel generators. It can uh, support 33.33333 fuel generators, but I'm capping it at 30 on purpose because I don't want to run into the 97% uh, issue on the pipeline throughput. Which means that one generator or two generators are always going to be uh, running on... Uh, What's it called? Unreliably. They are going to be running unreliably because the pipes are going to empty. It is six, eight threes, Wally. This compared to how my coal generator area looks, yes, it is definitely a, a slight difference. Then again, my coal generator area was very temporary, and I knew that I was going to tear it down, and that is one of the things that I intend to do very soon. Uh, I don't need uh, the coal generators. How many of these do I need? 
I think I need 200. Yep. Let's take one stack of them. Also, the aluminium refinery, I'm not done with that in terms of cosmetics, uh, so it's just a floating platform currently, but I plan on doing uh, more uh, architectural stuff there. And the same goes with the fuel generators. I plan on making, uh, making that a sort of a building, but I don't know exactly how I will do with it yet. The time will show. Did I? Oh no, I need to go back and pick up more um, wall cubes. My nondescript facial appendages quiver with anticipation every time I see you. Is that what we call a full circle, uh, Bold Viking? Thank you so much for the raid and uh, welcome to the raiders. Welcome back to those raiders who were her formerly. <laughs> My return on invest. <laughs> welcome in, everyone. Um... Let's do the uh, the polite thing uh, while I'm being charged by Vikings. It's funny how I am being charged by Vikings as a Viking. How did Rimworld go? I had to um, to raid and run, and I didn't even uh, get to tell you that I raided and ran. I was very distracted at the time <laughs> and broken after playing Jackbox. Any, any day you play RimWorld where the colony did not fail, I would call that a success, especially with the settings you're playing on. Please do note that I still have not played the game myself, uh, but it is on my list because it does look like a, a fun stream game. What else do I need from the base? I probably should pick up some motors just in case. Two stacks of them. Um, cable? No, I don't need cable. I think I should pick up some concrete. I do have some in the car, but... So, for those of you who do not know me, I, I be Caledorn, also known as the Lord of Tentacles. Um, I am an actual Viking. Uh, I don't have a Viking hat. Uh, I am very envious of Bold Viking's authentic Viking hat with even the plastic horns uh, because was, as all know we vikings we had uh, plastic and oil back in uh, well around 700 uh, AD I think is when we discovered oil I can highly recommend Rimworld it's addicting the events event based tentacle retelling is executed very tentacle and the tentacle Tentacle Ding community is bloody amazing. Tentacle. Yes. It's the same actually with uh, with Satisfactory. Like the community for Satisfactory has been uh, extremely uh, welcoming. Um, like there are several of the Satisfactory uh, streamers who pop into. Uh, to my stream and vice versa. It's it's really nice. Uh, and I'm glad to hear that it's the same for RimWorld. That's that's very, uh, very um, encouraging for me to actually... Uh, I have already been considering the game um, for some time. Uh, but yeah, this. Need to, to fix this. Is this where I, uh, where I uh, play the sound effect that Fazion sent me? I don't know. Yeah, the modding in RimWorld seems really nice as well. And I, I think I've seen enough RimWorld to... Well, I would not play at the insane difficulties you guys play on, but... Uh, 
at least not to begin with. And I probably wouldn't select Randy Random as my uh, first uh, opponent. That might come as a surprise to people. Or not. I, I suspect people would understand that I wouldn't play as Randy Random in my first uh, playthrough of, uh, of RimWorld. Where did it go? Yeah, I'm, uh, this one is going to be added to the uh, sound effects uh, by a popular request, or rather by channel redemption, channel point redemptions. Thou shalt love the tentacle. And I'm going to have to have uh, that thing showering tentacles on me or something when it does that effect. But I need to figure out how to do that. Yeah, people... People tend to say that, Virgilius, but um, I can assure you that that was not in my on my mind uh, when I uh, became the Lord of Tentacles. I don't remember all three of them. I remember Cassandra and I remember Randy. The third one... I don't remember... Who, which one of the three is the one that is recommended to start with? Phoebe, yeah, Phoebe. So I'll probably start with her, and also on a lower difficulty level. Uh, the tentacle thing? The tentacle thing is from a World of Warcraft, actually. Um, and it's Catherine's fault that I am the Lord of Tentacles. Uh, back in uh, Battle for Azeroth, I think. We were standing outside of the... Um, we were playing Alliance at the time. Because that's what all my friends were playing. Even though I am very much a Horde person. Strangely enough, considering the Windriders is my channel... Uh, what's it called? Branding? I mean, the, the Windriders are the uh, the Horde mounts, the original ones. Um, but we were standing in whatever the face of the name of the city that I don't remember at this time. Uh, it's been a while, to put it mildly. Um... And they had added all this new armor, and that armor involved um, interesting um, facial masks that had tentacles. And of course that is because uh, one of the main themes of Battle for Azeroth was the old gods. Slightly influenced by HP Lovecraft, just a tad. Um, and I did say something, and Catherine said something about tentacles being decorative, and I followed up on that, and uh, I thought that I had something that I could tease her with, and all of a sudden I was the Lord of Tentacles. In Star Wars, I prefer to be grey. As in, neither... I Like, I find the Jedi to be... Uh, as fanatical as the Sith. So I tend to prefer a Grey Jedi, but usually you can't choose that, so if I don't have a choice, then I would usually go with um, go with uh, Empire. Warhammer, uh, that's one of the things that I'm excited for with Warhammer uh, Total War uh, Warhammer 3. I can play as Chaos, and I can play as Chaos properly, and not just have a stack of uh, stupid uh, Dragon Ogre Shagoths, but I can actually have Flamers of Zinch, which I will enjoy. Not a huge fan of Corn. he's a little bit too genial. Balance. Balance always wins out, but I, I don't like doing outright evil actions in games. I'll switch to this camera here. Uh, because, like, when I was playing, when I was playing, um...
When I was playing uh, Mass Effect, then I go Paragon and not Renegade because some of the choices there are just stupid when you're evil. We'll have Niv. It's just uh, looking over. Favorite faction in Total War Shogun. At least Shogun 2 would be Clan Uesugi. This Niv. Niv is uh, the uh, healing wyvern. He's also very... Uh, he's the least mischievous of the guys. The rest of them can be quite mischievous. So he, he's just... Uh, he's just happy and nice. Leg workout, that's a good idea, actually. I am a collector. Uh, I have uh, four more on the way from the US. So, yes, I do collect them. Thank you again, Bold Viking, for the uh, raid. And uh, you go raid your bed. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, have a good night. And uh, I hope to see you again very soon, my friend. Always a pleasure. Royal Wave. <laughs> In Rome, I usually played as the Green Faction, which I don't remember the name of now. It wasn't Skippy, it wasn't Julii, so it was... Hold on, MacFatBot. You're going to uh, to be uh, moderated if you post a link. Um, there. Now you can post a link. Welcome, Limp Cheese. How has your day been? Very stressful. That doesn't sound fun. Ah, good. Yeah, that's the thing with uh, Shogun 2. Clan Uezugi is the ninja faction. In Shogun 1, you, I just had a lot of geishas running around killing stuff. You feel the pressure now. Well, there's no time limit, so... I just disabled the uh, link protection altogether currently. Is it work that has been stressful, Liam? Yeah, not surprising. IT work is usually like that. Like, I used to be an IT consultant myself. Most of the time you had nice days where uh, you could relax and uh, things weren't that bad and then suddenly the whole world turned upside down. A couple of days. Yep. I've had a couple of those days myself. Brutai, thank you. Or Bruti. Okay, I'm gonna put on that clip. Wrong window, Firefox. Wrong window. What the actual heck? Still wrong window, Firefox. Can I... Oh, for crying out loud. Can I just put you there? And then drag you there? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, but that's the wrong one. This one. I mean... You guys really don't need to see the stream again. Uh, I don't know how loud this is, but I don't think it's very loud. That one, put it down to minus eight. That was way too...
think I'm gonna stop. You're gonna stop too. All right. I have a birthday wank coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah, I think I'm gonna stop. You're gonna stop too. All right. I have a birthday wank coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I hope you and I hope you enjoyed that bolt working. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Ah, oh. there we go. Leg workout done. No need for diplomacy. They are Vikings after all. I might have to open the window a bit because it is getting rather warm. Compliment Liam. Yes. Give me a moment here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. I will hold it. So here is Liam's compliment. Welcome Pioneer, I am Ada, and I have been instructed to tell you all that I endorse Limp Cheese as a professional streamer with the best honks on all of the internet. You should all go to his Twitch channel and hit that follow button immediately if you haven't already. There you go. That's uh, that was some, that's probably something that would entertain you a little bit, Liam, because uh, it turns out that Ada, uh, the voice of that uh, advisor uh, gal in this game, uh, is actually uh, made uh, here, and uh, it's the uh, English US WaveNet C voice. And they just added some reverb and uh, echo. Of course, I plan to make excessive use of that on the channel, strangely enough. This probably comes as. Wait, wait, why am I doing that? I just build over them afterwards, anyways. Yeah, you. I, I. I figured that you would, uh, considering your high interest in text-to-speech. Uh, I mean, that text-to-speech engine is 
really good. I had never even considered that Ada was uh, not an actual voice actor, but made by a text-to-speech engine at Google. Although this one is probably more advanced than the uh, the average text-to-speech engines, considering it's um, made with what's its face? DeepMind, actually. And you can customize it with SSML tags and so forth. You, you're into that stuff. I, I, I'm not. We cannot develop the APIs for it. Ah, okay. I assume that is due to uh, some kind of uh, limitation. Uh, how did I do this in terms of their placements? Um, you're not that smart, so you got to take prefabs. Go. Oh. Brain might be an acceptable excuse for uh, imitation. It's supposed to be on the uh, the drainage thing. So there. And then the next one, it looks to be one away from the middle of the foundation, with two and a half. That would be there. I'm pretty sure. Yes. And the third one goes there. The final one, I believe, is also on the drain thing. Yeah, um, in regards to that sex to speech thing, I'm definitely not going to start fiddling uh, with uh, the more advanced. Why are you not there? There be line. I'm going to make some custom ADA stuff uh, in Audacity so that I can have some uh, some sound effects with Ada's voice, because that sounds fun. Not that it would be any being even remotely original. No, that's not right. It's supposed to be... Okay, so if I place one of those... Uh, I've noticed that several of my um, of my satisfactory streamer uh... sorry, it just lost my several of the people in the satisfactory streaming community does use uh, the Ada voice. Bodge has a lot of interesting sounds. I especially like his uh, his uh, brow noise. I'm like, huh? How, how how did he do that? <coughs> Fourteen of those might be a good idea to place them down. Or did I run out of something? Or did it? No, I just didn't press the encroaching others clearance. Oh. That crappy power pole. I haven't heard that one. I have not heard that one. You should be able to... Oh, by the way. Where are my manners? Well, I am known as the Lord of Tentacles, but... Uh, Dear Lord might be a bit uh, over the top.
You're in for a fun journey though, Morte. It's a really, really fun game. One of my absolute favorites. No. <laughs> well, in a way it is. In a way it is not. Like, you don't have to worry about uh, weird numbers like uh, beacons and stuff like that. You you might want to post the link of uh, of uh, Bodge Moose. I, I I am interested in this. I feel. Boost. Yeah, but as I was saying that, you, you don't have to worry about beaconing things and stuff like that. Uh, so in that sense, the maths in Satisfactory is not as um, complicated as in Factorio. But Satisfactory definitely has its own complexity. Um, that's for sure. But if you compare it to, say, um, I have gizmo here in my mouth. You compare it to, uh, to, um, Pyanodons, uh, Satisfactory is a, a, a walk in the park. So what is this? He's an idiot. Uh, he is an idiot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. That's a good one. <laughs> how did he even? How did he even come up with that? Yeah, no, he's not a human. He's definitely some kind of hybrid animal. I not, I'm not sure if that's correct. I suspect it isn't. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it should be there. No, it should be there. The, um... My recommendation in terms of the uh, verticality in Satisfactory would actually be to not bother too much with the verticality in your first game. Just build. Uh, make a large floaty platform in the sky and just build uh, on that platform. And don't care if it looks stupid because it's when you need to learn the game and learn the recipes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, having to worry about the verticality is actually... Uh, I would say it's an impediment uh, that doesn't really add much fun um, because there's so much to to consider. Um, so I would, if you're totally new to the game, I would just build a, a platform in the sky and uh, build on that and go from there. Um, you don't need to worry about uh, running out of space. So but just stay away from up there though, if you're new to the game. Don't go up there on the on the middle of the map. That that place is um it's not healthy. <laughs> let's just let let's just put it at that. It's not healthy. And concrete production is a good idea. Um Some people swear by not using foundations because following the terrain is uh easier for them. Um I personally think that it is easier to learn the game by using foundations since it gives you the uh, the snapping points. But at the same time, there is something very satisfying about that first factory, which is just a jumble and mess of spaghetti as well. So there has been some uh, rather amazing spaghetti factories out there. Uh, if you haven't already uh, seen some of the videos that uh, Josh, uh, that would be Let's Game It Out on YouTube. He's made some pretty, um, let's call them interesting factories, shall we? Yeah. 
that one for instance it's um the the funky part about that one is i think that he actually spent more time building that uh than most of the organized factories like the one i have here is i think that it takes more time to build the way that he has built than it does to take than it does to build something like this But again, getting the hover pack really changes the game quite a bit, which you get on tier 7. Because being able to fly around over your base without having to worry about uh, fuel or anything uh, does help. Took the water in... Okay, so I need to build these here. Adeptus Mechanicus. Yes, I am a proud member of the Adeptus Mechanicus myself, actually. Broke my leg a couple of years ago, so I have a titanium implant in my uh, left leg. Yeah, if you don't build the buffers, then, uh, then it won't work. You absolutely need the buffers. So that would explain why it shut down. Did I? Huh? That seems strange. That doesn't add up. Did I really do it like that? No, I did not. Did I build the pipe? I build. Because that one seems to be good. Maybe I just went too far away. Yeah, I, I just went. Okay. Even with all of the concrete you see that I have here, I still only have three constructors making concrete, so uh, at, you don't really need to build a lot of concrete uh, factories. Um, but of course, uh, I've had a couple of hours of waiting time in between there. Now, I also need the water, uh, and that's going to be an interesting part because I don't know if a water pipe is able to sustain what I need. That we will find out now. No, you don't. You definitely don't. Uh, and I'm also building very uh, specifically in a pattern where I've done things in a staircase fashion. Because I am working with fluids, and fluids can be a bit of a pain to work with in the game. Uh, specifically because there's a bug uh, currently in regards to the fluids. Which I am not sure if they have acknowledged, uh, or if it's just the players that have found it. But it doesn't really affect you until you have, like, really large production lines, like the ones that I have here, so... Don't need to worry about that yet. I think these are producing 400. Yeah, I need 400... 400 waters, I'm producing 420 because of that bug. That's what I was talking about earlier when I said that Future Caledon has to deal with that issue, because this is exactly the point where Future Caledon has to deal with that issue. And Future Caledon is not too happy about having to deal with that issue, I should, I should add.
future Caledon, also known as present Caledon currently, doesn't know exactly how to drag that pipe up there. Thank you for the lurk, Arabia, and uh, see you again soon, and you have a good night's sleep. Future Caledon, or also known as present Caledon, now thinks he has a solution to them, but I'll see. Depends on. I, th I suspect that the water here is too shallow. It isn't. Well, that might solve the issue then. If I... I think that's going to be too close, so I'm going to have to take the pipes up here. But I think that is possible. I want the water to come up... Here. Absolutely, uh, Dixit, absolutely. And then I'm going to need to take power there. There, down. I have to drop it there. I need to remove that foundation. And I need to see if I'm missing this quickly. That. Then we'll build a wall. Actually, we will not use that kind of wall. This kind of wall. Leave this wall out. And we'll put pipeline wall holes in as soon as I have the water extractors down. But I need. 8x2 foundation. Is that too close? I think it is. I think I need to have it there. There, and I'll have it there. Extractor. Side. correct? Uh, well, no, it's not correct. Try that one more time then. It isn't easier from the side, it is that. There. Yeah, I'm, I don't have, I don't want to uh, deal with the uh, power shards. I'm just using, um, or in addition that saves me a bit of power it saves me both power and uh, and shards that's exactly where I want to work seriously okay Now, I don't remember... I... I... do... Okay, that doesn't matter. You have to hold on... Uh, you have to hold down control, otherwise they won't snap.
Now, this pipeline here, will that be... The drift from the... Um, it's there. Is that right? That looks very... Uh, Correct to me. We can close this thing up. Ah, you can think that that is going to gain, but I'm it doesn't trick you. Now that gives me... Oh, there's spitters over there. Uh, I need to down these. And I also need to put down a wall here. Could use the frame window, I suppose. Should be a straight pipe, yes. Now I can remove that one. And I need wool support. I hope that's going to make a, a good turn. Yes, it is. Now the hover pack is slightly bugging again support piece there that should also give me a good is that the same it doesn't look the same it should be a distance of three away not four yeah it should be there there we go and then that goes there And, of course, it has to be Mark II. has to connect up to uh, this is always a little bit finicky is that correct Crouch key is indeed tentacle. How did you know? And we need to build three of these. What now, Key? Doesn't seem to be correct. Did I do a mistake somewhere? Yeah, I did a mistake over here. That one's supposed to be one further up.
How did I... <laughs> did I build more of these under here? That's good. Hold and build three of them. That's better. I'm pretty sure I didn't say crotch key, uh, fully, but uh, I'm not sure what frequency your brain is tuned into today. Uh, nor am I going to ask any questions about that. Uh, so, whatever you say, we'll, we'll go with that. It makes you happy. I'm all good. There. Now... Move that. Need to have the pipeline going there. Into here. There. And finally, there. And we need glass foundations. And of course, now I need to be. Need to be a little bit sneaky about this. There are ways to clip uh, through the foundations when you're working on pipes without using the smart mod, but I just find it easier to do it this way. I don't have a funny accent. You and my so-called funny accent. Heretic. Supposed to be nice to me. Say nice things about me, don't not accuse me of having a funny accent. No, it's not normal for a Norwegian. Um uh, that that would be uh, a little bit more uh, pronounced. Why am I falling down all the time? How come I don't have power? I'm right beside... Oh. That's bad. That's very bad. But I think I just cut it, so it should be fine. At least I have a stable production here, that's good. It's not all of a sudden, Wally. You've always been supposed to be... You, you've always... Whatever. Uh, I think I'll take those to Mark II as well. If I need power down there. Good night, best asparagus, and thank you so much for the uh, fun today. Uh, we will do that uh, again another time because that was uh, highly amusing. Sleep well, and uh, hope to see you again soon.
somebody there. You can go away. Well, you should be careful, Wally, because you never know when I ramp up my trolling against you. Might happen very uh, spontaneously, if you're not nice. I do no such thing. Stop accusing. Stop. Stop making unfounded accusations against me. I. I am a nice Lord of Tentacles, and I treat you with the utmost respect that you deserve. Um, within, of course, the limitations of you being a heretic. But even within that limitation, I treat you very nicely. This complaining does not suit you. Uh, oil. Oil might be a good idea. I, you never can tell. Like in a in a fuel refinery, that depends on oil for uh, for uh, fuel generation. Uh, oil oil could be uh, one of the 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 better uh, things to add to the equation. I'm not entirely sure how I do how I'm going to do this one though, because this one is going to be interesting. I mean, the, the most natural thing would be to have a junction cross, which is pointed that way, with the pipes going that way. Uh, but... Okay, I can do it like that. Um, I am a nice Lord of Tentacles. So I have to put down a pipe... No, I, can, I have to put down a junction cross there, actually. Now we have to work quickly, because I need a pipeline to go from there to there. And this should be fun. That's probably good enough. Not just good enough, it's actually uh, perfect. Much to my surprise, I did not expect me to be able to do that so good at first attempt. Um, I want to do the same for the other one, although it is very unlikely that I would have that pipe going not all the other way. Wonder are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Joe Cool 1062. Um, drop the desk down a bit. How? Actually, I need the other one to go that way as well, which means if I do a quarter pipe there, I just put down a couple of them, and I need a couple of those, and a couple of those. I need a refinery to be back to back with the other one there. Just so I know where I'm supposed to put this. Apparently there. Is that going to work? Yes. So then I need to stretch a pipe from there to there. This is going to be highly interesting. And that pipeline should go down and connect to that one. That one was not so good. That that doesn't look good at all. The other one is more or less perfectly centered.
That looks better. Yeah, there we go. And now I need a glass foundation or two. Not necessarily addicted. Uh, it depends on the area I'm in. Hold, please. And there. At least I have the pipeline ready for the other side as well. <coughs> um, now, on this side, I have five refineries taking 30 crude oil per minute, which is equating to 150 crude oil. So I need to go down and have a look at the... Um, at the uh, node, which should be under here somewhere. Um, I probably won't use Mark II pipes all the way. I'll probably step down. Oh, I've never noticed that there, there's actually a, a burner exhaust thing on these. Interesting. I'm producing 240 per minute. I need 300. I don't have a power shard, so we have to head back to the base so I can pick up a power shard. No, actually I haven't, thank you. That's the last one for now, instant scrap. I, I don't even know how to describe how bad this recipe is. It's absolutely crap. I think I, I think I would prefer the bioco recipe over this one. That's how bad it is. Is there any of these I can do? Yeah, I can do the high-speed connector. That probably isn't a bad idea. Done with that one. Done with that one. I should also unlock that one. But the sulfur one is the one that I should... Oops, really unlock. It's the uh, the sulfur. Adding sulfur to make aluminium scrap is in addition to the fact that the blender takes 75 megawatts of power to produce that 300, which I can do in one refinery at 30 megawatts without having to worry about using sulfur. I mean, the, the recipe is atrociously bad. Now, it might produce more than 300 per minute. I, I haven't checked. No, it's three. It's it's such a crappy recipe that I I I'm at a loss for words for how bad this one is. It's one of the few recipes that I can actually say that I don't, and and there aren't many of those in the game. Um, because I'm very much of the opinion that even the, the recipes that are that are F tier, uh, situationally they can be good. But this one, I cannot see any situation where this one be good would be good to use at all. None. like to unlock this one. That would be uh, very useful. Um, let's make some power shards. I mean, what other purpose does the slugs serve than to become power shards? They haven't killed it because it is still situationally useful. So I wouldn't say... Whoa! That is a mouthful, butt spot. What about if tentacle, 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 tentacle were to come into your tentacle and want to talk you really bad? Would it be? <laughs> I 
Let me guess, Wooly. No, I'm not going to follow up on that statement. For the best of everyone's sanity. Probably need more copper sheets. And I guess to answer your question, Wally, no, if you were to come into my stream to troll me, uh, it would not be useful just because you built it. You might find it useful because you might find it fun to troll me like that, but... Uh... I mean, seriously, if you wanted to build an entire aluminium operation to just build that and have that work, I would actually be quite um, amused by that fact alone. Because, I mean, you would have to hook up sulfur, you would have to make sulfuric acid in blenders. It would be quite the task to set up that thing. It would take you a couple of hours. Just the fact that it would take you a couple of hours might be worth it, exactly because of that, you're too lazy. But then again, if I were to be given the opportunity to have you uh, do menial work for me in the factory uh, for several hours, I have a lot of things that you could be doing for me that would be more useful than that. I think I'm going to end up sinking all of these things that I have here. Yeah, I can imagine. It's a hard knock life. That's a Norwegianism, by the way. <sighs> yes. I, uh, I expect you're almost ready to go to bed now. Just thinking about that. Speaking of which, I should take a break. Why are these unpowered? Not that I'm using it anyways, but I don't know why I haven't powered up. Probably because I did some ratio here, back when I actually needed power. steel pipes. I'll have to pilfer them from these assemblers, I think. Concrete. I don't think it would hurt if I picked up a little bit more concrete, actually. That's it. I thought I needed slugs, but I d discovered after I had hunted slugs the last time that I had two purple and a couple of yellow lying in that chest. 
I don't remember picking them up even. Not that I'm unhappy about not having to go hunt slugs anytime soon. 20 power shards isn't like a lot, but it will will support me for a while at least. Actually, I'm going to set it to 310, just to be sure. That's an interesting clock speed number. Now, these are going to produce polymer resin, which I suppose I could use for something else. Like, uh... Residual plastic or residual rubber, but I cannot be bothered setting up that. But I am producing a bit of it now. Oh, do I need this sink? Not really. I can always use the other one. It's 30 megawatt though. See you soon, Wooly. <laughs> well, at least it didn't trigger a sound effect. I think that is a sound effect. It would be amusing if the bot triggered a sound effect. this uh, one three four I believe So that's crashing with the uh, power pole. That's fine. Yeah. Logan pipe. I think I placed that on the location.
Uh, so these are now getting... Yeah, they're already started making heavy oil residue. Means that these should be filling up. Okay, I'll take a quick break. Uh, when I come back, we need to hook up the water. And then the... Uh, I want those buffers to fill up. So I will be back in uh, a couple of minutes. Enjoy the view, meanwhile. There we go. Thank you all for waiting. Uh, now, let's see here. Uh, we need to connect up the water so that we can have these blenders start doing their job as well. Uh, they should be set to making diluted fuel. 
assume these are almost full now, good. I want to do something similar to this uh, over there, I think. But we'll get around to that later. Uh, hmm. I doubt that I'm going to be allowed to put this underneath the wall. Uh, I might be able to fool it. Take that down. I don't know. Uh... There, perhaps? No, that's entirely wrong. There, I think. Now we need a pump here. to get out of the double click on that. That should work. And the power connection on this one is there. So, outlet there. And there. I think I'll just remove that one. Uh, it seems redundant. So uncertain about the height here. It's the same height as a power pole. It isn't. It is not really a big problem. Although... Although... Yeah, I think we're going to do this a little bit differently. Uh, what I want to do first and foremost is walls, and I want to have single windows, but is that the right way? Depends on... Yeah, it is the right way. Put down 14 of these. Good. Same on the other side. Right way, so I've done 14 on this side as well. I'm not sure if that's the right location. It is not. Is this the right location? That looks better, yes. Just have to test. I think it's there. Nope. That looks better. Now, that one... 
should be able to connect to that one. No, that doesn't work. Need one in the middle here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Does it sag less if it's... No, it sags more if it's closer. Pretty sure that one... Yeah, it does sag beneath. these foundations place them to fun isn't the wrong way though I think that's correct. Oh, it is correct the other way. Okay. Then the final one of these should go there, I think. It's almost, but it's quite close enough. But I believe I can do it with that. That, that, and connect that up to there. Now, if I put down the... I don't remember which one I used. I think I used the panel windows. That's good enough. That powered up those. Two pure ones. Welcome back, Seth Lorian. That's gonna work to be honest. Um, I need to rethink this part. Although, power connector is there. Did we guess on the first attempt?
that might work. I just do that. Oh, I do need to connect up those power nodes here first before I remove them. Really? So, do I have a power pole that I can connect to up here? I have that one. I don't remember where I'll have the next I think I'll have the next one there. I believe it was on the middle here. Oh, it's not that important on this side. Where did I have it here? I had it on top. Okay, so that's what I did. Uh, let me build panel window. Like that. I had a power pole. Oh, wants to... Uh... Why are you not cooperating with me, game? exactly the right location either and that's power to those hidden as well eat that don't need should have water coming in here. They are producing fuel. It's all even full. So the next My part... nondescript facial appendages quiver with anticipation every time I see you. <laughs> yes, they do. Welcome, Osinats. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Playing Dead by Daylight? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm not going to repeat what Buttspot said there, because no. That's too much even for me. Welcome, Bodge. Welcome, Dr. Doof. Hello, everyone. Hello, Raiders. <laughs> How are you guys? I hope you're all having a wonderful... Time zone, day, evening. No. Of course you are. Raid shout outs, you. It's not a raid shout out for you, it's a red circuit shout out. How are melons? Now uh, this, this is a story I want to hear. By the way, uh, Borj, I was introduced to uh, you making um, some very interesting sounds earlier in the stream. You seem to have a natural talent for uh, for making animal sounds. I did not know that you had the ability to uh, to function as a a moose hunting device.
this was new for me. I knew that you can attract crows, but uh, crows, but I did not know that you could attract meese. Natural talent, okay. Well, um, I'm also curious, how has this worked out for you? Have you attracted bunny mees in your... Uh, and yes, I, 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 I do say mees on purpose. Um, ha have you attracted bunny mees in your uh, outings into the wild? It's not mees, it's moosen. <laughs> That's even better. I had this thing about English being a strange language, which I amused Catherine greatly with it uh, in one of our uh, collaboration series at one point, where I had some objections to the fact that it's caused uh, that it's called geese in plural when it's a goose. And then it's only logical that uh, moose in plural would, of course, be meese. Yes. Yes. Um, the person who made me aware of this might be the limp cheese. You never can tell. You never can tell. Potentially. <laughs> we have to wait for these things to, uh, to do their work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Hop on over to the, um... Yeah, I'm dropping some frames. I'm, uh... I can't help that. I, I don't know what it is. It happens occasionally. You would never have guessed that. I, um... <coughs> Indeed. A delay adorn. Hey! You're using creative Norwegian letters now, doof. I don't know why the uh, frame are being dropped now. My nondescript facial appendages quiver with anticipation every time <laughs> I see you. I didn't want to go in here. Uh, welcome so much to the raiders from Zygeno or Zigeno. Um, not entirely sure how to pronounce that, so I probably uh, borked it horribly. But welcome in. Um, and hello, Twilight Princess. Ah, uh, you played Satisfactory as well. Excellent. Zygino. Zygino. She was carving her initials on the Merse with a sharpened end of an interspace turth brush given her by Svenge, her brother-in-law, an Oslo dentist, and star of many Norwegian Murphys, the hut hands of an Oslo dentist, filings of passion, or fillings of passion, the huge murders of horse not What the heck is this, Dr. Tooth? Um, I suppose I should welcome you into the, um, um, uh, slight craziness? I'm uh, working on a fuel generator, uh, power setup. It's a Monty Python reference. Ah, I sh then I'm embarrassed that I didn't take it. I should have taken it. Right now I'm just checking that my aluminium is working as intended, and it is. Because this has been working for more than three hours now. So. Finally. 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 We have found the cause. So. The explanation for how to have the wastewater working is having sinks for the aluminium scrap overflow. It works. Yep, you have to step up your game, Dr. Doof. I'm using Smart Mod, uh, and I'm using Production Stats, and I'm using... Other ones am I using? Uh, efficiency Checker? And always day. Yeah, that's it. So, 
quality of life, I don't have anything that adds anything to the game. Well, I guess the efficiency checker does add something to the game, but I tear those down immediately again. Because I don't want any update to uh, break stuff and me having to fix half the factory because of breakage. Smart is a life saver or time saver or both. Um, efficiency, efficiency checker is really nice to just check what the heck's going Not on if something all doesn't work. Wonder are lost. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, deep act on crack. And yes, I am losing frames like crazy at the moment. I have no idea what this is about. Let me try to turn off the web camera briefly, see if that helps. If I turn off that... Yeah, that seems to have fixed it temporarily. But as soon as Not I move in the all game... Who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the uh, follow to Zygeno as well. You have a question? Shoot. I think I'm just going to do it like that. No, that didn't really help. I have no idea. It's really bad. It's dropping down to 46 frames per second. I need a stream computer. Really. This is... This is untenable. 47. I mean, it could be that there is a lot of stuff going on here, but it doesn't really make sense. Okay, you're being very intensive now, Gizmo. seems to be in What happens if I turn off the web camera altogether? I'm not sure what the dead zone is. But if you deleted all your power generators, the only thing you have you can do is basically uh, build biofuel generators. Yeah, then you have to build biofuel generators to, uh, to, um, uh, kickstart some coal power or, uh, or, or, um, well, coal power is really actually the only thing I would kickstart because, um, this here takes way too much power. The biofuel generators would run out very, very quickly even if you're just using the basic refinery setup, so you'll, you'd will you have to segregate parts of your factory out, disconnect it from the grid, uh, set up a coal generator. I don't think you can get 4,000 gigawatts of power in the game. I'm not sure if that's physically possible. I have no idea since I've never doubled with nuclear power, even though I have close to 3,000 hours, but I just haven't bothered with the nuclear. It, but it seems to be related to this area, the frame drops. Uh, yeah, but it's megawatts, not gigawatts. <laughs> Yeah, the frame drops is definitely related to this area here. Yeah, no, the, the only thing you can uh, you can do is uh, turn off large parts of your factory and build it up a little at a time. There is no other way you can uh, fix that issue. And it's going to take you some time to set that up.
could also consider restarting. If you have that much of a power uh, problem, then it sounds like it could take just as much time as just restarting the game. While we wait for this, I think I'll uh, set up the uh, uh, pipeline for the next, but this area is definitely one of the reasons why I'm having frame drops. No doubt about that. My, um, let me just check something here, because this is, uh, strange. Absolutely no idea what's going on. Looks good in the router. Like massive traffic going on either. Weird. Foundations is that above? Okay, so it's an eight by two. I might as well just have the camera on because it doesn't doesn't uh, change anything. Not all who wander are lost. Welcome, JD. Thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> You're almost number 300 at that. Thank you, Wally, for doing the shout outs. How are you doing this fine evening? I assume it's evening in uh, Down Under Land right now. I think Dyson's. Oh, yeah, I really want to go. Uh, well, 
We're probably, uh... It's getting close to midday, okay. Weird time zones. In the middle of the night here. Eh. Come on, thank you. Always in the future. Yep. I'm usually the future of everyone else except for you Australians. There we go. Now, where should I drag that line? Suppose I could just take it here, but... I think I want to take it backwards. Uh, no, no, I, I started using the camera quite early, actually. This camera is new, but I had a, a crappier uh, web camera that I was using before I got this one. So yes, it is HD Caledon, although I, since... Even with the 3080 graphics card, I am not allowed to use more than um, 720p 30 frames per second on the camera, even though it's 1080p 60 FPS. But um, as you can probably see, there's some slight technical difficulties today. It's usually not this bad, but it's been pretty bad today. And I don't know why. So these are actually wrong in comparison to the other ones in here. Biggest issue of the world. Suspect that's too far away. I do not want to have the pipe down into the water. time actually depending on how it behaves with this no maybe not work actually JD's ignorant that seems possible um if you say so I, I, I felt I needed a bath, anyways. I am far too polite to uh, to implicate anything of the sorts, JD. Have no fear. I actually want that there instead. You want me to insult you, Fazian?
We'll see, we shall see. Huh? I will have to think about it. Why game? Why? Pipe has an invalid shape. Yes, that's that was very intentional. I did not want that targetable. Let me see if I can find here it is. Yes, I think I think we can go to that. If it wanted to work, that is. A spinning circle about Caledon said to indicate thinking. That that would be absolutely fabulous. This is Ada speaking, and I have been programmed to inform the audience that Phazon Phoenix is a useless pile of junk, without any respect for tentacles or eyes, and that its proper place is on a belt headed directly for the awesome sink. Not that you'll get any awesome points for grinding it, but at least it's one way to deal with it. There you go, Phazon. Now you know where your proper place is. sense a clip incoming here. You can, JD. But, as uh, Limp Cheese said earlier, it's, uh, it's, it, it's going to take a little bit of work because you have to work with the API 
on the uh, DeepMind text-to-speech thing on Google. That isn't actually the correct location for the pipeline. Oh, it is. Because this one should be here. Oh, there. There. Yeah, Liam didn't want to uh, mess with it. And uh, when Liam doesn't want to mess with something technical, uh, that's usually a warning sign in my book. Oh, that's a glorious pipeline. I am. Um, this is this is the prettiest pipe I have ever built. You're the one who started it. Don't blame me. Blame yourself. I need plastic. Well, it's all for the sake of the environment because we are pumping up the uh, dinosaurs so that we can make power from them. A bit of plastic. That will only add to the touch of uh, environmental friendliness. I'm amused by this, uh, you coming up with compliments would be like pulling teeth. By the way, JD, there's one thing that I'm wondering about. And this might seem very random, uh, but there's a reason for the question. Your real name wouldn't happen to be Dale, would it? Because that would scare me. circle has been broken because the two Australians that I know outside or except for you are both named Dale I asked Orsinots about it one time in his stream that he was doing but uh, he was kind of busy uh, cursing his microphone and stuff that day so uh... That's true, but my real name doesn't start with a C. Uh, you were very excused that day, uh, Ossie. Uh, you were, you were, you were more than excused. But I, 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 I do understand how you are sorry you missed uh, a tentacle. Yours does tentacle with J. Mm -hmm. I need to power up that thing over there. Because I need to um, get these two oil extractors working and their uh, pipelines on the correct um, angle. You have missed a tentacle, Seth Lorian. It's... Uh, Rough times. I also need to do something about these power lines because they are... This this is unacceptable. This one should also be overclocked to 300. Or actually 310. 
Uh, the tentacle thing, uh, it's a TLDR thing. Uh, it comes from uh, World of Warcraft. Um, back in the Battle for Azeroth expansion, uh, I was playing World of Warcraft together with Catherine and uh, several other of my friends, and uh, we were hanging out in um, whatever the name of the uh, city that the Proud Moors are from in on that continent. I don't remember. Um, and one of us had looted one of those interesting Azerite armor pieces, which was a face mask that had tentacles uh, on it, and. Uh, I made a joke about it. Cool Tiras, thank you. And then, um, and then uh, Catherine said something about tentacles being um, decorative. And uh, that, of course, uh, resulted in a joke or two from me. And I thought that, oh, I now have something that I can... Uh, that I can... Uh, tease Catherine with in the future. However, that backfired horribly, and here we are. I am now the Lord of Tentacles. And uh, instead of uh, fighting it, I just embraced it, because uh, just like Timic will soon learn with his susness, there's no use in fighting it when your entire community starts calling you something. It's much better to just embrace it. Timic is sus indeed, but he hasn't realized yet, so until he has realized, I'm just going to uh, remind him that he is sus. As should we all. Eventually, he will embrace it. Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, I have two pipelines here. And I need to make sure that that one actually contains crude oil. Also, I am slightly worried because I have a mildly sore throat. does not bode well. My husband has been coughing. It is not COVID because my husband did have a test for that and it thankfully uh, showed negative. But I I, I'm, I will not be amused if I am going to have another cold. Sadly, you have to go away. It's always COVID. <laughs> Yeah, you'd think that. Uh, I've, I've just given up. If I if I have a sore throat or anything, it's like, okay, whatever. If it's COVID, it's COVID. If it's a cold, it's a cold. There's not much I can do either way, so... Uh, how did I power that thing? I do something... Yeah, I did. Something very tricky here. Need to connect the pipeline first. Very carefully. That's a good that's a good suggestion. Oh, it's only taken them four weeks. Well, that's efficiency for you. Wow. Thank you for popping in, though, and uh, you have a, a nice uh, rest of the day. I hope to see you again soon. There we go. 
now I'm ready for making the other side of the fuel generator setup as well. Um, I'm still a bit uncertain about whether or not it's a good idea for me to uh, do that on stream or not, because, I mean... It's very repetitive. And it does involve a lot of waiting, because I need to wait for all of these buffers to fill up. Well, maybe not. They are full. Is that by down the line? Not all who wander are lost. I like that. I like that, Nick. Thank you for the follow, General Lee Inept. And welcome to the channel. And you you were actually follower number 300, JD. Congratulations. And celebrations and so forth. VIP parking at the hospital, yeah. What's uh, the MCL? I have no idea what that is. You have had it quite rough lately, uh, Addicted. Something painful. Well, that much I could gather, Jonathan. Thank you for being so helpful. Would you please give a message to Frisky from me? Yes, but when she's done sleeping? Thank you, Gizmo. I am very, very grateful that the first thing you do when you jump up on my lap is drool on me. Well, the message is from Gizmo, and he says that she is to bite you. I was drooled all over my mouse mat as well. Yay. Gizmo certainly is. No message. Coward. Eleven thousand four hundred. That doesn't seem right. Oh wait, it is right because it's from the coal generators as well. These produce nine thousand, and then I have an additional two thousand four hundred from the coal generator. It's nice to see this this line being. Like a straight line again. Yeah, there we go. Now I have the uh, the second time, or the second uh, generator line up running, which is uh, not bad, not bad at all. And I'm ready to set up. The thing, the, the reason why I've been wondering why you guys, if, if you guys really want to see me do this on stream, is that I plan on setting up 240 of these, and I've just made 60 so far. So I'm going to repeat this four more times. Oh, it's 180. Six more times. Are you sure you want me to do that on stream? I mean, I don't mind the, but I'm worried about the uh, frame drops going on here as well. Because it seems to be more frame drops in this area. And I expect that to become worse uh, as I build this 
further out. I, I suspect it's the pipes. Two pure notes can support... Uh, how many is that? 20, so I'm going to have 40 refineries of heavy oil residue. And that's uh, 20 times 4 is 80, and 80 times 100 is 8,000, and 8,000 multiplied. No. It's 53. Point, no, that's not right at all. My brain is slightly fried at the moment. I want to go back to the main base and just see if the uh, frame drops get any better if I get out of this area. Because I'm strongly suspecting that it's the pipes that is the, the, the reason for the frame drops. I suspect that the pipes are causing frame drops because of the, uh, all of the calculations going on there. Yeah, now it's steadily at 60. But it's definitely that area there that's causing the uh, uh, drop down to 54, but that's not uncommon. See here, it's uh, the camera is uh, it's not lagging the same way. Need to bet need a better computer. Uh, that's virtually more or less impossible, Jonathan. I mean, sure, I could try to get a thirty eighty Ti, but it's like ten percent improvement, and satisfactory will still eat the. Uh, the uh, capacity for it and I have also tried setting uh, or adjusting the um, settings in satisfactory to a lower level and satisfactory isn't touching my CPU it's only the GPU usage that's going crazy but the reason for the GPU usage going crazy is because of OBS satisfactory Nvidia broadcast uh, it's it's a lot to for the GPU to process all at once what I actually need is another computer that can stand beside my main computer where I connect the microphone and the uh, camera and everything to that one. And uh, yeah, now it immediately dropped down to 49 uh, and then use that computer as a, as a stream computer so that I can offload everything from my main computer to that second computer in regards to the uh, encoding of the stream. And I did try in one of my... I had a test stream where I tried to offload uh, the... Uh, since my CPU has more than enough capacity. Uh, I mean, it's a 12-core 5900X Ryzen 9 CPU. I tried using the X60, X264 uh, encoding in OBS, but that caused all kinds of weird things. I have not Phasian, but that's not happening. Because even though the frame drops here might be um, uh, mildly, like this, there is something specific about this area here that's causing this. But setting up a secondary computer isn't a problem. Um, I can I can get a pre-built uh, computer at a quite a reasonable price. I, I actually checked the prices for that yesterday, and uh, since all I need. All I would need was a would be a, a 2060 or something, 
um, as long as it's a, a 2000 series NVIDIA um, graphics card. And those are available in pre-builds at reasonable prices here in Norway because the demand in Norway hasn't been as bad as it has been, for instance, in the US. I don't know if the uh, 1600 series, like the 1660, if that works in uh, with NVIDIA Broadcast. I have no idea. Uh, I think there's a register setting you can force it if you have a GTX card, but I'm not sure if it will give the best results. I could. Uh, I'm not sure what you would use it for though, considering that you wouldn't be able to buy them in the US. They only ship to Norway. There's something going on here as well. It's definitely something to do with pipes, it seems. Because if I'm in areas that doesn't have pipes, uh, the frame drops are way less significant than when I am in the areas that do have pipes. The only thing that could give you help there is time. The uh, silicon shortage uh, isn't doing anyone any favors. The only reason it's possible to get computer parts in Norway within pre-built computers, I can't get a, a 2000 card or a three, especially not a 3000 card. I cannot get that without having to wait for a long time. Um, but in pre-built, uh, I can get them from. I can actually even get 3000 series card in pre-builds, but the prices are so outrageous, outrageous that it's not happening. Yeah, there is definitely something with the pipe stuff. Anyhow, uh, I need to rest my voice, otherwise uh, well, I might end up with a cold anyways, for all I know now. Um... We can find someone to raid. In this case, it's more rest my weary throat rather than my tentacles. Local processor is on the uh, Fritz slightly, yes, but I suspect it is my husband that has uh, helpfully given me a cold. It's just how it is sometimes. But we'll see tomorrow. I'll uh, <coughs> keep you guys posted. You probably heard him cough in the background there. I'm sure that you've heard that a couple of times during the stream. So, I think we can raid uh, Daddy Crumb today. He's playing Satisfactory and he's also one of those uh, rather impressive Satisfactory players, which uh, he's working on now looks quite interesting. So, let's uh, book a raid to him. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, feel free to leave any questions and or comments in the comment section. And... Uh, Thank you all so much for being here with me tonight. As per usual, I am very grateful. And I hope to see you again soon, everyone. Thank you for all the raids. Thank you for all the follows. Yeah, I think that about sums it up. So, have a good one, everyone.